Well, I named uh, my farm Quintus Dairy because originally I'm from Holland and in the town I came from called Quint's Hill. Uh, we had a sports club over there and it's called Quintus. Like it's always my cows first. I, uh, it's the first thing I think when you wake up in the morning and you know, it's the last thing you, you do when you go to bed. Like you work with animals all day, what I really enjoy, the breeding, the raising, and eventually you start milking them again. So it's a complete cycle after two and a half, three years. The way I figure it too, if the easier you are on your cows, the more relaxed they are, the more milk they will produce for you and uh, the healthier they stay. For us as dairy farmers, it's important to be able to show the consumer that we produce quality milk and take care of our animals and also keep in mind, keeping in mind the environment and trying to stop the spread of disease through biosecurity. So the program that is in presently across the country is Canadian Quality Milk, CQM. So I do visit farms um, in southern Alberta primarily um, and I go to them and visit them for an hour and a half based on criteria that has been set forth by the Canadian dairy farmers and then I from that I give a report to Alberta Milk. I really like working with animals. Like, I find like when you go out to the barn you get to like lay on your 4-H animal or like give her a hug or something. I was milking in a, in a parlor for, I think it was right around 27 years. And my equipment was really wearing out. Uh, that time the robots started coming on. The system we bought uh, originally comes out of Sweden, it's a, a De Laval. One machine uh, milks probably 60, 65 cows in a day on a continuous basis. So that's right around two, two and a half times a day. So robotic milking is also called voluntary milking system. So really, you could just walk away from it and then the cow will be get milked without the person actually have to be there. I remember with the parlor, my dad can never come to anything, like maybe luckily once a year. And then like now, he's like almost trying to show up to everything. Maybe the robotics has changed my mind a little because now like we're moving towards the future. And so now we got future technology in our barn and everything. And I want to be a part of that like future. And I want to like go to university, learn about agriculture, learn about animal science and all that and maybe one day I'll come back home and take over the farm or work for my dad or maybe start my own farm. 